Hello everyone. Let's talk about another interesting topic which is Azure AI Document Intelligence. So this is the one which was formerly known as Azure Form Recognizer and now it has been renamed to a Document Intelligence. So the reason why I'm recording this video over here is uh, this particular topic is uh, very useful when you want to extract information from your printed documents or your handwritten documents and especially when your document is not only text. You may have tables, you may have some sections, you may have some charts and all those things mixed in a single document. So in that case, it's not easy to just read the document using some API and pass it on to the LLM. And that's the reason I'm here with this video. So we can, well, in this video, we'll just take an overview of what this service is all about. And then in my further videos, in my next videos, we will see how we can utilize this particular concept to extract the information and pass it on to the LLM. So Azure Document Intelligence is a very powerful service within the Azure AI ecosystem, which is designed to understand and interpret the layout of our documents. So it can analyze various elements starting from text to tables and a lot more. So let's talk about its key feature. So first of all, like I said, it is an Azure offering. So it is a cloud-based cloud -based service and it can extract printed as well as handwritten text. So it supports 309 languages from the printed one and the 12 handwritten languages, which is kind of very huge list. So there are some pre-built models which we can use it ready-made, which are available for us ready-made and using those models, we can do lot many things. For example, you can read your invoice, you can read your receipt, you can do some identity extraction. In fact, you can read your debit card, credit card or even the visiting cards or the health insurance card if you have. And apart from that, in fact, you can also read your text forms 1099 and all those. So these are the things which are already available as of today. And we can just go ahead and use the pre -built model to extract the information out of those. But if for any reason, if those pre-built ones are not sufficient, then also we can also go ahead and use the custom models wherein we can train it and get the required output. So this is the main reason why this is very well or very popular. Apart from this, the programming languages are supposed as C-sharp, Java, JavaScript and Python. And this feature is in, still in preview as of today. So it is not currently available in all the regions. So if you want to access this, you have to be in any of these three regions, which is East US, West US 2 and West Europe. So and another note, uh, let me quickly tell you what all things we can extract. So we can extract paragraphs, tables, sections, titles, even the font style or the key value pair. Um, math formulas, QR code, barcode. There's actually a huge list which we can extract out of our documents using this particular feature. So let's quickly move on to Azure portal and there I can show you what all things we can do. So I'm on Azure portal and here you can search for document intelligence and click on create. Here you need to provide your resource name and everything. In my case, I have already created, so I will not go ahead and do it again. So this is an instance which I have already created. And once it is created, you can see the option of Document Intelligence Studio. So Studio is the place where we are going to do all our model related stuff. So you can go to this by clicking on try it. And these are the various options which are available. So like I said, there are pre-built models for invoices, receipts, identity documents, health insurance cards, text forms, mortgage documents. So all these things you can easily uh, use to extract the information. So these are the different types which are available as of now. But definitely you can go ahead and try with some other documents which are not already in this list. And here you can go and use this link to read what all things it can do. I will quickly jump on to the layout part. So let me log into this. Okay, so here you can see some documents are already uploaded. So these are the sample documents which are available for us. So this is the one. If you have this kind of documents, then it will easily extract the information out of it. So here you can see some text are handwritten, some are like printed ones. So these are the samples and these are the math formulas which we can extract it. 
and on the left side you can see browse for files so you can browse your own files using your local machine or using the URL so these are the options available and if I will go back and let's say let's go with this invoices so under invoices also these are the various options so you can definitely go ahead and explore all those document types which are available for the pre-built model and let me quickly show you one thing um, <clears throat> let's select this particular invoice and here you can see run analysis so click on this run analysis and it will start the analysis of this document and you can see that how it recognize these all these things and mark them as a bracket, um, rectangle and on the right hand side you can see the details so if you will click on this invoice date it is this value and the confidence score is also there which is 94.7 it means it is 94 percent sure that this is the correct information which it extracted and these all the details whatever is extracted from here you can find it on the right hand side panel under the fields so you just need to go ahead and read this another thing here is content so if you have any tabular thing it will show up over here so this is the one which you can see you can move on to next page and this is the another table so these things you can see and then you have the result which is in JSON form and here it will tell you the coordinates of all the polygons or the rectangles it identified so these are the coordinates or the positions so if you want to extract something next to it or nearby then you can use these positions and apart from that this is the source code so if you want to ex uh, use this in your application then you just need to update your key in the endpoint and rest all thing is already available for you so you need not to write much of the code here if you are going for the pre-built ones next thing I can show you is uh, analyze options so click on this and here you can tell that what you want to analyze are you looking for the entire document or you just want the correct one or let's say you have multiple documents uploaded so in that case this option is very useful then how many pages do you want do you have specific range in your mind then you can select this otherwise you can go with all pages and these are the optional detection whether you want to detect these as well so if you want you can just mark it and it will go ahead and do it for us and then let me select now let me select barcode So if there is any barcode then definitely it will show you. So once you are selecting these options you have to rerun your analysis and then it will show you. So apart from this I want to show you one more thing. Let's go back to this and let's take some, okay let's go with this document. I will run the analysis so that we can see something on the right hand side panel. okay so these are the things which it uh, has extracted and you can see the sections paragraphs and all those things are very well extracted so click on this analyze option and here you can see another thing which is output style so would you like to go with the markdown or the text so if you want to go with the markdown then it will change your text into the markdown one so that you can use it as it is uh, in your application so nowadays if you are working with LLMs you must have be, uh, seen that MD or the markdown is a very well known or the accepted format so in this case what you can do you can just change the format to markdown and run your analysis so it will generate the text for you under the markdown which you can export it and use it as it is in as an input to the LLM so this is your markdown text you can see how different it is looking from the one which we just did earlier so these are the just get started pointers for you uh, definitely you can explore it more I think this much knowledge is enough to go ahead and use this with respect to Azure OpenAI or OpenAI that I will be showing you in my next videos. but uh, meanwhile you can go and explore these documentation part you will get to know a bit more about it so let's uh, stop this video here and in my next video per perhaps I will show you how we can utilize this information with our LLM thanks for watching